Reshner and George McPhee from the New Jersey, <laughs> no, that's not right. They love hockey and they also love Mexican food and margaritas. So what do they do in the off season? They run a mini chain of restaurants in Manhattan called the Blue Moon. And they're going to tell us tonight how they managed to get into business and maybe later on we can talk them into cooking for us. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. How is it that hockey players managed to uh, get into the restaurant business? Well, for me it was... Uh a lot easier than George, I guess. I met uh, Gary and Howie, the people that run the restaurants through George, and we all became friends, and I got into the next two that uh, we opened up on uh, Columbus and the one on First Avenue because of that, because hmm. of George. Now, did you have an interest in business in addition to sports, or was it just something that seemed appealing? Uh, I think it was more dumb luck than anything. We just, <laughs> uh, I met Howie and Gary, our, our managing partners, uh, a few years back, and uh, they've been managing restaurants all their lives, and. Uh, we're good at it, and uh, we decided to try it on our own. And, uh, do you actually have an active role in the restaurant, or do you just lend your names like some professional well, athletes? Well, I'm do? vice president in charge of atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> and I test, all the, I test all the margaritas. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any assistance by any chance, do you? <laughs> Might be something I could get into yeah, in my uh -huh. television career. Oh, you're always falters. invited. Oh, great. Now, you said that they were in Man Manhattan, right? Yes. Now, how many are there? There are three now. Three. Yeah, any plans to expand? I'm sure that's going to happen down the road, but I think we, we don't want to get into a classic textbook uh, case of expanding too soon and losing control. I think we'll hang on for a year or so and then uh, see what's uh, cooking. Now, do, <laughs> so to speak. Cool, like do you think about this as something that you want to go into full time when your sports careers are over? Well, I'm not sure. I think we'd like to have a lot of options, and this is certainly uh, mushroom for us. I don't think we expected it to grow like it has and become what it is now. We just signed up, sort of did it as a side investment initially, and now it's grown, and uh, we'll just, I guess, go with it and see what happens. Hmm. Now, if, if people consider you adversaries on the ice, and yet you're in business together, does that ever cause any problems? Well, we played. We started okay. together. I mean, yeah. well, when George came up to the uh, Rangers about six, seven years ago, we became friends then, so getting into business was easy that way because, you know, we sort of trusted each other. And on the ice, we trust each other a lot because George used to do all the fighting for me. All the fighting for me. <laughs> but uh, and it's uh, it, off the ice. It's, not, it's got nothing to do with on the ice, so it doesn't bother us too much. Okay. Now, I said maybe we could talk you all into cooking for us. You all don't actually cook, right? You have a chef that does that, or well, people uh, that do that for you. Oh, sure. But our uh, our managing partner is here. Howard Felix brought in. All right, let's see if we can get him over he's here. basically the best cook of us. Hi, Howard. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Now, what are you going to make for us well, here? I'm going to make some chicken fajitas, one of our specialties at the uh, place. Um, oh, sorry, you want to dance? Yeah. <laughs> we can do. Let's, let's heat it up. Yeah. Now, we're going to make, you said chicken fajitas? Correct, yeah. Okay. Is this a specialty of the restaurant? Yeah, it's one of our uh, main dishes that we serve. If George will just cut up some of this chicken mm -hmm. here, we, go. we can get started on making the marinade. Uh, the chicken normally has to be marinated. We usually marinate it overnight. You could do it for two or three hours just to get started. Let's uh, we'll start with some tomatoes and puree. And just pour this in here. We have special ingredients in here that we're looking for? Well, there's certain ingredients that we use. Uh, from Santa Fe, we uh, get this special uh, chili powder. It's Dixon Carib. It's a medium hot chili powder. And we'll just add that in. Looks good. Yeah, yeah that's my see. favorite. Let's put that's some of the oil on the frying pan. Let's make it extra spicy. I like it spicy. Howard won the uh, William Shatner lookalike contest at the restaurant, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> now that he mentions that, of course yeah, you have to. And then we squeeze some lime juice in there without getting it all over you. That's okay. okay. It would be par for the course. What about these, Ali? Oh, what are, are those? those? What do you call those, right? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. You mean jalapenos? Jalapenos. Put a little Worcestershire sauce. What there. would a Mexican restaurant be without jalapeno? Yeah, jalapeno. Yeah, very, very important. How would you sell a bottle of beer? Lots. <laughs> Lots <laughs> of <laughs> bottles. Some black pepper. A couple of teaspoons of Believe me, it looks great, guys. Okay. And a little seasoning salt. How you doing over there with the chicken? Yeah, that oh, chicken done right? I think uh, I didn't leave any fingers there. No. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Better check. <laughs> this is one of the most important ingredients in Mexican food. It's called cilantro. It's uh, similar to coriander. And we'll just it in. Usually, you could put all this stuff in a blender and puree. It might be a, a little better to marinate in. All right. Excuse me. I need to 
Let me just sort of mix this all up. Now, this bowl is a we put all of this together, we need to get this cooking well, we need, here, Howard. Yeah. Okay, let's get the uh, chicken. Normally you would just marinate oh, it. Oh, so you put the chicken in here, right, correct. as opposed to mixing it in the right. frying pan. Well, we'll mix it in a little, in one second. Do you all eat here a lot? As often as, uh... <laughs> they eat too much, they eat. Yeah. Sometimes well, it doesn't look it, though. Mm -hmm. That's just stay away sometimes. <laughs> okay, and we'll just take some of this chicken and lay it in the frying pan. Ooh, now how long do we cook it for? Um, you saute it, it actually only takes about uh, four or five minutes, maybe even a little less. This uh, pan doesn't get too hot on this little burner. But uh, normally you just cook it and uh, let it saute on one side for about two minutes and then flip it over and swirl it around. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to continue cooking and we'll take a break. When we come back, we're going to meet Ron's supermodel wife, Carol Alt. Stay with us.